Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be working on my 90 day challenge island. Now this island challenge is basically no treasure islands. You have to get all of your materials and DIYs the right way. If you're wondering why my character looks like she can't concentrate and she's struggling, it is because I actually built this on stream and I was given a sabotage where I had to reverse my Joy-Cons and turn them upside down for a little while. And that's really hard to do. It's just really hard. I'm a little bit impaired when I'm decorating upside down. Okay, so we are back to normal and um, I'm trying to work on this transition area between the Nook's Cranny and the resident services. And I just wanted it to be a nice natural, like kind of witchy area. Since I'm limited for items, like I can't use treasure islands, which I use a lot. I mean, I have treasure islands, so I use treasure islands a lot and I am hustling for DIYs right now. Um, it is definitely challenging to get items to decorate the island with. So I really just wanted to use a lot of nature. So that's what we're doing right now. We're, we're just going to make a natural foresty walkway leading to resident services. And over here, I have another build that I'm going to be working on that is not going to be in this video, but, um, it's definitely something that will be in a future video. Uh, when I get when I get to it, but right now I wanted to do the area connecting I'm very much one of those people who does islands in order. You know what I mean? Like I like to work on them in order uh, We're also behind Molly's house and we're right above my entrance on this island So here we are. We're just running around putting down at nature Of course all of the trees I like to kind of lay down my trees first because then it gives me an idea of where I'm going to put other things and I always struggle getting around the trees on that diagonal cl cliff when you have to like squish through. For some reason, that is a challenge for me. I can't seem to do that very well. So yeah, and then I'm just going to fill it up with nature and flowers and some various smaller items. I don't think I'm going to use anything um, really extravagant in this area. Not that I have anything very extravagant, and it is a Halloween island, so there's spooky items abound everywhere, everywhere. I did have to change days because I wanted to move a building. So I did change days and come back um, to the next day where it was raining, which explains why it's raining right now. I'm going to try and fit a silo in, not a silo. I'm going to try and fit a windmill in front of the silo, which is why I um, had to move that tree over there. And I just think that windmills kind of, they work for me. It's easy. It's easier to grind for nook miles and use windmills as to add height and fill as filler spaces than it is to um, go and, and hustle for money and DIYs. I wanted to put a little seating area right here. So I went ahead and just kind of pulled the chair out. If you didn't know, if you put something in that space, you can make like the doll or whatever you want to put on the bench face the other direction that you want to without it being on the other side of the bench. And that's kind of why I did that with the weeds right there. So we're going to just decorate this area right in front. This is right behind Lily's house. Now I'm using the original customization of the mush parasol throughout this island. Usually I find a color scheme and I kind of stick with it. So on this island, I'm using orange and black flowers at, with a hint of purple. And the purple is basically just the purple roses because they're a very dark, almost black color. And when I was breeding orange flowers, I just got those roses in abundance. So I figured I might as well use them. I had to move the tree out of the way because I wanted whatever I put here to be centered and that was the only way it was going to happen for me. So I did put the tree there, but, um, you know, barrels and, and lamps and all of the things. Oh my. And back here, I think I'm going to put another windmill at some point. So hopefully everything's been going well for everybody out there in the world. Everyone I know around me has been sick lately. So hopefully you have not joined um, the sick part of the world. Summer colds are the worst. 
I am getting over one right now. If you can't tell from the sound of my voice, I was dealing with a cold. If you ever wanted, this is the creepiest thing ever, but I'm doing it on this island because it is a Halloween island. Um, so, you know, creepy is the name of the game here. But I am putting this awful, awful doll behind the trees. And it, I mean, it works for this island, but it is a jump scare when you're walking by. Keep that in mind. If you ever decide to do something like this, just keep it in mind. It's a little bit of a jump scare, you know? We're, we're going jump scare core, basically. Look at her. She's just, she's, she's a monster. So this island will be shown at night, so you won't really be able to see the floating bricks. And that kind of works for me. I don't think I would use them if you could see them, but they do elevate the doll higher than the pillars do, and I need that. So that is why we're using those and why I went with that. I wanted to add in a spooky tree because I haven't added one yet over here. And I just, I don't know, I've been filling my island with them. And then I just spent some time figuring out my life and setting down some nature. I got another sabotage where I had to change my outfit and somebody wanted me to wear a pink variation of a custom code that I had made. So that is what we're wearing right now. Um, the sabos in stream are just hilarious and they make things so much fun. They always give me an added challenge to uh, decorate with while I'm playing and I I just find that it's it's a lot of fun when I decorate off stream now I'm kind of like I'm kind of missing the chaos I have a hard time focusing when I can actually focus which is crazy right it's absolutely insane but I've been loving this island anyway and it's been a lot of fun I don't I'm gonna I'm not gonna completely lie to you I don't always love how it comes out and I think that's that's just me pretty much being in my head so I'm sure I'll like it when it's finished I'm not the type of person to just like um, give up just because I don't like what's happening so far uh, usually in the middle of every single build I don't like what I'm doing and then I make peace with it at some point and it ends up being okay and then by the time I'm done with the island, I think the island came out great. So there you go. Um, just so you guys know, if you're ever feeling not confident about your islands or that you're struggling with just uh, figuring yourself out and figuring out what you want, you're not alone. You're definitely not alone. A lot of us struggle with that. And it's just, I think it's just the name of the game right now, right? It's it's the way the world is right now. I think a lot of us kind of struggle with different things. I'm going through a lot of things in my life. So I'm pretty much, I think I have just the, the narrative in my head that I struggle with, that I'm like not sure that anything I do is ever really good enough. And I'm pretty sure that's just my own internal dialogue that I'm dealing with right now. So if you're ever feeling a little insecure about your builds, just know that you're not the only one. We come off real confident on here. But trust me, we all struggle with what we're making. We're never sure if what we're doing is right. And it is very common. Like your favorite YouTubers also struggle with thinking that their builds are good. And that on that note, we are just about finishing up. Thank you guys so much for being here. I know you can be absolutely anywhere in the entire world. And you chose to spend a little of your time here with me. And you absolutely didn't have to. I appreciate you so, so, so very much. I hope you have an amazing day or night. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.